Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Yes, we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Uh, my husband, Apostle Chris, and I are the humble servants of King's Court Ministries. We are located at 209 North Broad Street, right here in the city of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And of course, we invite you to come over and experience the goodness of the Lord where we are uh, just uh, seeing signs, wonders, and miracles. Our motto is where God guides, he provides, and where the glory resides. Listen, I want to give you a moment to get your Bibles, your notepads, your iPads, and we are going right into the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, we have been in the book of Lamentations, um, uh, just visiting with the prophet Jeremiah, the lamenting prophet, and we have just really, really, really received a wealth of revelation uh, from this passage in this um, chapter in this book. So that's where we're going, uh, uh, Lamentations chapter 3. Today we want to look at verse 24. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24. And of course, I'm reading out of the King James translation. And the word of the Lord says, The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Let me read that again. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Listen, I love this passage when it says, um, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul. We have been talking about uh, unlimited faith, um, unexplainable miracles, and decreeing the word of the Lord over every situation. And, and as we all know, as I said, Jeremiah was a lamenting prophet, and he was dealing with so many, so many things, bitterness in his soul. And he began to say within himself, but I got to understand that my hope is in the Lord. And now um, he was saying that his hope was in the Lord in verse um, 20. Yes, in verse 20, my hope is in the Lord. And then he began to, to think about the mercies of God, the compassion of God, the strength of God, the faithfulness of God. Then he began to say, my soul um, will say that the Lord is my portion. He began to change his kingdom language, his, his heavenly language, and began to, degree, began to decree what heaven was saying about him. He said, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul. It's something about the soul of man. When we cry back out to our creator, when we cry back out to our maker, and we let him know, look, I was created in your image and after your likeness. And so I'm crying back out to you because you are my portion. I'm taking ownership of this. And so because you are my portion, that's my portion that I've been dealt with. That's the oil that's poured into my life. So I will hope in you, O oh Lord. If you're going to put your trust, your hope, your confidence, your reliance, your dependability in anyone, we need to put our hope, our trust, and our confidence in the Lord. We were created in his image and after his likeness, he breathed into our nostril and we became spirit speaking beings. So Jeremiah said, now I'm not speaking from my flesh, but I'm speaking from my soul. And Lord, you are my portion. Therefore, will I hope in you. I want to encourage you. I want to remind you. I want to inspire you on today that the Lord is our portion and we can put our trust, we can put our hope and we can put our confidence in him. 